Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Arya again with another uh, video. Alright, so this is from a series like a monkey series. Well, it's not a monkey, it's a chimp, but I call the series Monkeying Around. And as you will notice, that this is in pose, or it is, it has been posed a certain way, and um, in one of the videos, I do explain how I go about uh, using polygroups to have different groups for this. And one of the things that can happen along production is that, yes, it's cool to have, you know, such a pose like this. Um, and how, how I got this pose done was that I used an FK rig in Maya and it, it's... I just wanted to get the pose done and then just moving out and you know adjustment of shapes and stuff like that I can do in ZBrush. So somewhere along the line you wanna you're gonna go like okay um I'm gonna work on refining this a bit more but I want the face to be done in pose. So one of the things you could do is that you could have like the face in pose. Let's assume that the cylinder is the face and you have um so i don't need to be doing this oh yeah i need to make it a poly in 3d all right so now you have the face and whatever you are working on on the left happens on the right and then when you're done you bring it this side and then you just project it over this face that works but not all the time so one other thing that you could do and this works provided that your your mesh right is identical on both sides what you're going to do is that you're going to go to transform and then it says activate symmetry so you have activate symmetry on and then you're gonna have a function that says use posable symmetry so I already have it on, so I'm just going to delete it. So you're going to come to transform, say activate symmetry, obviously an X, and then you're going to say use posable symmetry. So when you use posable symmetry, what happens is that ZBrush identifies the vertex points that are identical on the left with those that are identical on the right. So if we were to come work on the face, you will notice that the points are more or less at the same area despite the fact that it is not in pose. So this is a handy trick to have when your model has been posed and you don't have any subdivisional information and you are still going to work on your model a bit more. So just one more time, how to use posable symmetry, you go to transform, activate symmetry, use posable symmetry. If you have posable symmetry on already, it means that it is working, it is identifying the verts and stuff like that. But say maybe you move it again, so what you do is that you delete posable symmetry and then you say use posable symmetry once again. All right, so if this video was of value to you, please hit a like. Please hit a subscribe if you are watching this on Facebook. Hi, how are you doing? If you are seeing this on Instagram or IGTV or on my website, hi, nice to see you. And I'll see you guys on the next video.